Vengeance. I mean, <laughs> half a day. <laughs> You're tuning into Tango Talks where we answer that burning question. How was that movie spoiler free? I'm Batman. I mean, um, I'm Jess. <laughs> and I'm Constance. And today it's going to be all about the Batman, which is now showing at the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theaters. That's right. We'll be sharing with you our spoiler free movie review and taking you to the theaters where we ask the audience what they thought of the Batman that premiered over the weekend. Like we said, it's going to be all about the Batman, but first we're going to tell you what we thought. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a Batman movie. This one's played by Robert Pattinson, and this takes place where Batman's already been the vigilante in Gotham City for at least about two, two years. years. Yeah. So, you know, he's already instilled fear into all those criminals around Gotham City. Mm-hmm. And so this one, uh, the main um, villain is the Riddler. Love it. I know, he did really good. So um, pretty much, you know, he's... It's so interesting because I don't think the Riddler's a bad guy after this movie. Well, you know... Just the, just the way they did yeah. the like the plot, the way that um, the people that were targeted... Well, it he's just a felt psychopath, so... you know? Like, he really didn't think he was a bad guy. He got me on his side, though. I was like, okay, uh, maybe I'm rooting for the Riddler. You know, it was... I really love that there were other villains. Mm-hmm. I love the Batman. Don't spoil who other villains in it. I think the I trailer know. only said the Riddler, but we ain't gonna yeah, say you, anymore. No, you see the penguin in the in the trailers. We do. Okay, okay. Yeah, she, said see, she said it. She said it. If it's a spoiler the trailers. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like watching every Batman, like Dark Knight had the Joker, you know, like seeing other villains in the Batman universe mm-hmm. was really nice. I've never seen any other Batman movie, so like disclaimer but like i thought this one was really good i like the storyline like the fact that it was very like crime investigative it was following along like oh who did it what what's the riddle who mm-hmm. who are we looking for like it felt very like crime detective like and i liked it that's what i really enjoyed about it it didn't feel yeah. as long as it was because the storyline was amazing i know hearing that it's 3 hours it's a lot but actually sitting there it didn't feel like it was three hours you know i mean i'm gonna tell you guys now there's something after the credits but we think it wasn't worth it but honestly if you want stay back and you can find out for yourselves and tell your friends but yeah just catching out the micronesia mall stadium theaters and catch that end credit scene if you want to tango talks is brought to you by take care my family and I trust the FHP Health Center because of our connection with the healthcare providers. The services are mostly under one roof, enabling a one stop for all of my family's medical, urgent care, imaging, dental, vision, laboratory, and pharmacy needs. My family and I trust FHP Health Center. You can too. FHP accepts most insurance plans, TRICARE, Medicare, Medicaid, and self pay patients. For an appointment, call 671 646 5825, press 1, or takecareasia.com. FHP Health Center, our island, your clinic. And a special thank you to the Guam Daily Post for the latest local news updates and movie schedules. Pick up a copy of the Guam Daily Post today. Okay, so now that you heard what we thought of the Batman, Jez was able to interview the audience who caught it on premiere night. Check it out. Half a day. I know we usually answer that burning question, how was that movie spoiler free? But this time we're taking it to the theaters and asking you guys what you guys thought of the Batman that just premiered over the weekend. Okay, so the 3 p.m. showing of Batman just got out, so now I'm here with Gabe. I'm Summer. And I'll say you. Victor. Ben Westfall. Gino Yu. Okay. Reese Mantanonia. So, um, what do you guys think of the movie? How was it? I thought it was really good. It was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yes, Batman's always good. Yeah. Can't that's... go wrong with the Batman movie. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised I really liked it. You surprised? Yeah. Why are you surprised? I'm re- I was just getting tired of all these remakes of Batman and this one's the longest one. So it really felt like uh, they're going to drag it, but I really enjoyed it. Did you guys enjoy it? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah, um, who was your favorite Batman? If um, not Robert Pattinson now. Um, I would say my favorite Batman movie is The Dark Knight, but yeah. my favorite Batman is Michael Keaton, because oh, that's the one I saw as a kid. Okay, yeah, 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 we love that, we love that. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. I'll go with Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson? I couldn't get used to it. Uh, that's a good one. I actually, I'm teetering towards Robert Pattinson right now, but my favorite will all time be, uh, I forgot his name, Christopher Bale? Is that it? But Christian yeah. Bale? Christian Bale, yeah, Christian sorry, Bale? sorry. Okay. Fake fan, fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> but Christian Bale, definitely I grew up with his own movies. And the second one was really good, so yeah. Without spoiling the movie, what was your favorite part about it? The villain. The yeah, villain. The, the villain. The villain. Yeah, see, everyone's been saying the Riddler. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I'm not gonna spoil anything, but Michael Reeves. Okay. Very Reeves. Very yeah. Very good. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for the Riddler the next time I go see it because I still haven't seen it yet. Well, I think it's probably the music. Honestly. The, the music. music? Yeah. Okay. The all right. Really, the really good. Really okay. All right. I'll keep an eye out for that because I still haven't seen it yet. Um. There's this scene without ruining it. There's yeah. this scene where the Riddler and the and Batman are like talking, and I think the Riddler really exposes himself and has really good performance okay. in, in this moment. And like, I like. Robert Pattinson, like that's the reason why I really think this movie pushed through because his acting really did carry the film. Mm -hmm. for, oh, for a three hour film, I really think he's the reason why it was a really good show for me. Okay, so I'll keep my eye out for Robert Pattinson and you guys should too. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Nice to meeting you guys, thank you. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, it's time to catch it now at the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theaters. Yes, thank you out. so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Honestly, amazing. <laughs> also now showing at the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theaters, we have Studio 666, Uncharted, Dog, Moonfall, Jackass Forever, Scream, Spider-Man No Way Home, and Sing 2. Jujutsu Kaisen O is coming to the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theaters and premiering on March 17. Tickets are now available for purchase to see how it all began. The Lost City, starring Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum, and Daniel Radcliffe, is coming to the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theaters on March 25. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to find out when advanced ticket sales are available for purchase. Watching on opening weekend for Jujutsu Kaisen O, save your ticket stubs and present them to Geek Out to get 10% off your purchase. Watch with Geek Out at 7 p.m. to receive a special discount for our snack bar. They are watching at 7 p.m. on March 17. Chili is back. Get your nachos with chili and cheese for additional $2 or just substitute your cheese for chili. And that's a wrap. We'll see you at the movies. Be my mess tomorrow. Bye, guys.